Hello, <clears throat> this is Brian J signing on, and I have got to talk about this, this, these lies, these crazy statement, this Nico Montano response saying, and this is on call for calling Valentin and Shachenko heartless. Let's let's look at this bullshit excuse from Nico Montano. It's all the way down here. <clears throat> okay. Nico Montano is lying. This let's read what she says. I want to say thank you all to my continued to all my continued supporter. Unfortunately, my first time ever missing weight means the loss of my title that I've worked my ass off for. Okay. And if you ask me, it's completely on call for. There have been plenty of other fighters who have not been punished for a lot more. True. I guess. Unfortunately, I'm not the one being not the one to be running my mouth so I don't bring in the big bucks. Okay. She says she has stopped sweating early. My kidneys shut down and balanced the electrolytes. My sodium levels were way too high. When I got to the hospital, the doctor had told me that it was the, the best idea that if I had waited even 30 minutes longer, it could have led to cardi- cardiac uh, issues. With that said, I had n- no intention to drop out of the fight. I looked good at open workouts. There have been multiple occasions where athletes after the tough show have been metabolically impaired. It takes a little longer to allow yourself the time to bounce back to your proper weight. In my case, it was that with the accusation of illness and injury. I had asked for a fight in October. Okay, now this is not true. This is definitely not true. Nico Montano had called out Valentina to fight in September 8th, which was in June. There, There is no evidence that Nico Montano has ever call for a fight in October. She never said that. She there's there's been no evidence of that. She never said that in the interview before missing weight. None of that. She said she had asked for a fight in October, knowing this and had some legit people on my side also asking on my behalf. However, the matchmaker and whoever else only gave the September ad to choose from. So with no other choice and with the internet backing a lying bully a lying bully, which I don't know how Valentina is a liar. Everything she said is consistent. I was forced to accept the date or have the threat to get stopped anyway. This is the only time I signed a contract. The statements of this egomaniac, wow, calling Valentina an egomaniac, has said are completely false and nowhere near the truth. Her idea of the reality is so far-fetched. So the fact that she trained for me three times must mean a couple of things. She's obsessed with me and has too much time on her hands. Not only has she disrespected and jealous of my efforts and accomplishments, also blocking me first on Instagram during her first fight at 125, but the fact that she takes pride in kicking a person while they're going through surgery and having their kidneys shut down truly demonstrates what a martial artist should not be. Okay, this is all. First of all, Nico, you were the champion. You were the freaking champion at flyweight. You had the 125 belt, the UFC belt. So, of course, Valentina Shevchenko is going to be obsessed with you because she's about to fight you. You're saying that she has too much time on, on her hands? Like, what is there for you to do? If you're a fighter and you're the world champion and you're training and you're trying to stay in shape and stay healthy to show up to fight, what else are you doing? Like, why aren't you obsessing over Valentina and trying to figure out so many, all the different ways to beat her? Like, what are you doing? Of course, Valentina's going to be obsessed with you and it's going to be training hard to try and beat you because you are the champion and she wants to take your belt and that's what she was getting prepared for. And she was going to give you that ass whoop and she was going to destroy you, which is why you screwed up with the weight cut, which is why you weren't close to fighting weight, which is why you weren't taking the weight cut seriously and you show up on fight week looking like you didn't cut a lot of weight and then you mess up your weight cut so you you, you could just postpone the fight until October. You needed more time to train. That that's what it was. And, and you didn't want to really fight her like in September. You once once things got real, you got a little bit nervous and you you didn't want to fight her. You wanted to fight Sajara Eubanks. You didn't want to fight Valentina. So yeah, you, you messed up your weight cut as far as I'm concerned on purpose. Just just to get out of the situation or to postpone the fight to October so you can have more time to get ready for Valentina. Like, you, you the fact that Valentina is obsessed with you, was trying to, to fight you and beat you and get that belt, that's her job. That is a fighter's job is to be obsessed with their opponent and to think about their opponent every single day and try and beat them. If you don't have that mentality... Then no wonder you don't have the belt no more. No wonder, no wonder you you don't have you're not a champion anymore because you don't have a champion's mentality or a champion's heart. And then you're saying she takes pride in kicking a person while they're down. Valentina was just speaking facts. You you were never eager to fight Valentina. 
This fight was offered to you like three times, and you rejected all three of the offers. You say you want to fight in July. Oh, okay, so you're going to fight Valentina in July. And you're like, okay, not not in International Fight Week, but in late July. Oh, okay, so late July. And then you're like, no, September. Or And now you're saying you want it October? Nah, that's not consistent. That's not consistent. Now you're talking about living a healthy lifestyle and putting down the character of Valentina. Nico, you've already proven to have shitty character and to be completely unreliable. Like, you you made Valentina waste the entire time, a whole eight-week camp, and you don't show up. You don't show up at all. And and you just wasted everybody's time. You wasted your, your gym's time. You wasted your time. You wasted your camp time. You could have just given up your belt and focused on your health to get healthy, get back in the fighting weight, or whatever whatever excuse you make up. And you could have fought Sajara Eubanks or fought somebody else, and then maybe fight for the title again. That's what you could have done, but... You didn't want to do that. And now you just look like a coward. Now you look scared because you are scared. And you just come up with this whole bullshit excuse and lying about asking to fight in October when you specifically called her out for September. And Valentina accepted it. And you didn't even show up. So I support Valentina on this. I support the bullet. You know, she she's shown herself to be consistent. And, then, and you also claim that she blocked you on Instagram. When you blocked her on Twitter when she called you out after you called out Ariel Hawaini. After you called out Ariel Hawaini, Valentina called you out on Twitter, told you to sign the contract back in May. Valentina told you to sign the contract back in May. And this is what you did, Nico. You know what you did? You blocked Valentina on Twitter. What is that? What is that? And, and there's, there's proof of that. Valentina can actually prove that. Can you prove that Valentina blocked you on Instagram? No. I don't see that at all. Valentina been calling you out, but you didn't want no smoke, so you're scared. You're you're back in New Mexico. You're around friends and family where you can feel safe and sound. You're not in the hands of you're not in you're not in the cage of Valentina where she would where she would have whooped the shit out of you. In, in fact, you really shouldn't even be in the UFC. You should go to Invicta. Just go to Invicta because that is your level as far as I'm concerned. And I'm done here. I'm done. I, I'm done debunking this this entire BS excuse uh, uh, of, of an explanation of what happened. And this is Brian J. signing off for now. Peace.